Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. If you find these videos helpful, consider supporting me through Patreon. Viewer who said, great video, first of all, thank you. Could you add an example of a Gantt chart with milestones? In other words, a horizontal bar with the start date, end date, and milestones in between. And like with anything, and then he sent me a picture, and it looked like a pretty good picture. Um, and like with anything, it's always about how you set up and structure the data. This is the Excel file that he sent and how it looks. This is probably how you've got your files as well. A project name or a task and then milestone dates off to the right. This is how you would set it up in Excel if you were going to graph it in Excel. What you need to do to get this to work in, in Tableau is you need to get all of these headers, you have to unpivot this data and put it in the left hand column. So I'm going to show you what that will look like. So you'll see that these project names upgrade tables is repeated for each milestone. Planned start date, milestone date, and then it has the milestone, the actual milestone date. How do you do that? Well this was a fairly simple one. You could do it with Excel, just copy and paste it because it was a one-time deal. If you're working with some system, uh, work with your database administrator, see if they can create a view or a query for you so that it gets it in the way that you want. If that doesn't work, you can, if you have a data table and you're linking to it, you can use custom SQL query as an option, but that's a little bit more advanced than I want to get into for this video. I'm going to start off, I have just the one data source, it's just that tab, and I'm going to bring over, I'm going to show you how things are going to work and why it doesn't work the way we think we do. Okay, so what I did before we even got started was I created this field here called duration. That's the difference in days between the planned start date and the planned end date, right, in days. And that's going to give us the length of the bar. So I'm going to bring the start date, I'm just double click it and bring it over. I want to change that to the exact date. That'll make it a continuous measure. And so now we have the dates and we have the lines. I'm going to bring the duration over on the size and you see the size just like you were hoping. Now if you bring over another milestone date, let's just see how that would work. Change this also to exact and then we're going to come over here to milestone date. Instead of automatic we're going to change this to a shape. We're, you're getting this to, we're getting this is kind of what we're going to be doing uh, and now we're going to try and we're going to dual axis but one thing I had a hard time getting well okay there we go synchronize axis axis and we're going to do in the milestone we're going to change this to red just so you can see it oops wrong one I want um, so now we'll change this to red anyway so you can't see it but as everyone knows that works great except what happens if you want to bring another one you can't dual access multiple uh, data points onto the same one we are going to pull this one off we're going to leave the start date there now we're going to come to data source we already have this tableau friendly view and we're going to bring it over and Tableau says, hey, I, we're going to do a, a logical join. I'm just going to call this, uh, this should be project name. You got a little bit confused because there are so many different options. Project name, and so it's going to link, which is what we want. All right, so now you're going to see, we're going to come to this chart here. Now what we can do is under the Tableau Friendly, we're going to bring this milestone date, we're going to drop that on columns. We're now going to change that to exact date. And you've got the two bars here. We're going to come to the milestone date. Plan to start, that's not what we want. Okay, they're going to come here. We're going to get rid of the, the duration. We're going to get rid of the measures. 
and we're going to change this to shape. Now you can get real tricky with this. I've got uh, some dashboards where if an item is complete, it's filled in. If it's not complete, it's empty. So that's kind of cool. I'm just going to make these all filled in and I'm going to make them all red so they'll stand out. Now we're going to come and right click and have to do it on this one, dual axis, and you can see the two charts. Always when you, Usually when you dual axis, you're going to want to synchronize the axes as well. Once again, all the milestones are hidden, so we're just going to left click and drag this over to the other side. You can see the little orange arrow, release, and now you see all those dates. It's a little bit hard to see, so if we make it a little bit bigger, I think on the chart that uh, Paige sent over, he wanted to see the milestone. So we'll put that under label. It's going to get a little bit messy. Yeah, it's going to get a little bit messy. So you're going to have to play around with that. Either change the angle of the text, or uh, maybe you just leave it in the hover. Or you change the colors for the different milestones. That's what I've done before. You're going to just hide this 10, 10 null because some of them had didn't have any uh, values. If we look at the chart, some of these didn't have any values. And so they, when I copied and pasted, I ended up with nulls here as well. That's okay. So I think that is the chart. I don't have arrows. That's just, I don't know how to do that. Oh, other question is, how do we get rid of we don't want milestone either on the top or the bottom. Here's how I do it. You edit the axis. I'm just going to backspace and get rid of all of that. Come to tick marks and I'm going to select none for both major and minor. Close it and now it's it's gone. You're still going to have this big gap here but you can get rid of the line and then you can maybe put other headers or text or something up here if you want to change that, do the same type of thing, just do it down here below. That's how you create a bar chart, a horizontal bar chart with milestone dates in there. Thanks for the question. Keep them coming. I really appreciate it and make sure you leave comments. Maybe there's another way that I haven't seen how to do it. Let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.